welcome back to Grow New Plants. So today I'm gonna do a follow up on the live oak trees that I planted last spring. There's a little preview. So I planted uh, four trays of 32 and I think I ended up with 40 good trees. Uh, my germination rate was really high. Uh, I had some help, if you wanna call it, from the squirrels. And I'll show you what I'm talking about on that. So let me get reset up and I'll show you what these things look like and we'll start getting some of them potted up. I'm not going to pot all of them up on video, but we'll get some of them potted up and we'll take a look at the roots, see how they look. Okay, so here are my live oak trees. I planted these, I think I planted these early back in March. And they're a uh, live oak is a white oak tree, which really technically doesn't need stratification. And then you saw the last video, I'll put a link to the video up there where I planted these seeds. And I think there's another video too. I'll post a link for that on how I collected the seeds this year. And my method worked really good because year before I got zero live oaks out of my oaks or out of my acorns. So, uh, but this year, planted them early. They came up pretty quick, but I'm gonna show you why the major reason that I don't have almost 100% germination out of these is this right here. This is the squirrels, okay? The squirrels really decimated me this year. And what I ended up doing with these, I, the squirrels got hold of them early and this was all I had planted. So I took some hardware cloth and laid across and till the acorns had time to germinate and the little trees started growing through the hardware cloth and then I had to cut the little holes out in the hardware cloth. It was a lot of work, but I did end up getting some nice trees out of it. So it was probably worth it. And then once I planted everything else uh, in at the end of May, all my bur oaks and red oaks and my pecans, the squirrels ate everything. So I guess the squirrels know where I'm at now. And uh, they know that they got free food around my place. So anyway, but I'm pretty happy. I got at least 40 trees here and I'll probably call a few of them out. A few of them had like two trunks coming up, which I'm probably not going to mess with those. But I'm a... Uh, Pretty tickled to get that many, 40 is plenty for me. So I'm gonna set it back up and we'll start planting some of these things. Okay, so it's, uh, it's the first week of August. So these things have been in the ground for quite a while now. Probably could have transplanted them earlier, but they seem to be doing fine. And for some reason or another, I get lots of these. That's a cottonwood tree. So I guess these things blow in and want to grow up in just about everything that I plant. So let's take a look at one of these, pull one out. And you see all the little tiny roots all the way around on this thing. Okay, and that's the beauty of these root maker pots. It shows it real good there on the bottom. So these root maker pots will allow these roots to do that. They grow out through these little cells down there, the little openings in these things, and it prunes those roots. And then it just makes new roots grow. So it has a bunch of little bitty tiny roots instead of just one or two big roots growing around in circles in the pot. And so when I plant these things in here, give these things a week or two, and these roots that are that you saw that just now in that little clip there, they'll all start growing out into the dirt and feeding and watering and everything else for the plant. So I'm going to take a handful of these. See that one, you can see it's got a tap root that came in there. And then when it grew to the end, it cut it. And then it started branching out. You can see that tap root right there. Sorry. See that tap root right there? So when they get to the end, you cut it out or it cut the end of it and then it started making all these other little fine roots. So again, you don't want that big tap root staying in there because it's not going to feed the plant. When you transplant, it's not going to feed the plant. If, you, if it grows natural in, in, the, in the earth, you know, from the time that it germinates up, that tap root's absolutely fine. But for container grown plants, it's not really a good thing to have that big, huge tap root on there. So that's it, man. We're just planting these things up. I've got a, I'm gonna show you one of these. I don't know if I had one in this pot. Let me grab one and I'm gonna show you. Okay, here's one right here. So this one, and I don't know if it did that naturally or if the root got cut off. Sometimes if the, not the root, but the branch got cut off and it will make it branch out into two roots or two. And i tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead just for grins. I'm gonna go ahead and plant that one and let it be a multi-trunk tree. Typically I won't, I know I've got a couple other ones 
Uh, I'm going to plant one of them and just kind of see how it does. Some people like the, the multi-trunk trees. But in general, that's not a desirable trait to have on them. And what happens a lot of times, like I know I had that happen last year with my bur oaks, the squirrels would get in there and they would bite the top of the tree off trying to get to the acorn. And uh, that, that trunk would branch off so you'd have two trunks coming up from that point on. So anyway, so I think I said before, I've got about 40 of these. So I'm gonna plant them all up I may cull some, if some of them don't look too great, I may cull a few of them, but I'm gonna plant the majority of these 40 up and let them grow. And I mean, the way they're growing, these are probably, I would I would guess I might get these up to two feet probably this year. Wouldn't surprise me at all. I'll take a look at the roots one more time. See all those just little tiny roots all the way around there. Holds the soil together good. Got a few weeds in there, but I can dig those out later. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish planting this one. And then I'll fast forward, do a time lapse, and plant a handful more of them. And then I'll plant the rest of them off camera. But So I'm going to do a time lapse, plant a few more of them, and then we'll come back and take a look at what they look like all planted up. Okay, so I got, I guess, a little over 20 of these planted up, and I'll plant the rest of them up off camera. So they're super nice, man. They're probably, the biggest ones are over 12 inches, shortest ones are maybe six to eight inches, something like that. Uh, I'm expecting them to take off really nice once they get in these big pots. I did have, I think, one one live oak tree came up from Acorn. I didn't even do a video with it because I was kind of disappointed that I didn't get a good germination rate. But that particular live oak got up to I think three or four feet by the end of the summer. So I'm expecting these probably to at least do two, maybe three feet, uh, maybe more, you never know. They're nice and healthy. They got good root systems on them, so they should do great. So I'm gonna move them to the backyard and I'm gonna get them watered in good, get them in a nice sunny location and we'll just see what they do. And then I'll do another follow-up on them uh, probably towards the end of the summer, see what they end up looking like then. And maybe some of them will even be ready to transplant up into maybe three gallon root maker pods. So. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share my videos. Thank you.